morning guys. Today I'm down here in Camden, South Carolina. I'm going to be fishing on Lake Watery. I'm going to be doing some trolling, drifting, dragging, maybe some anchor fishing for, uh, for blue catfish and hopefully a striped bass or two if I'm lucky. I've uh, got two dozen live white perch for bait and I'm going to get out there and give it a whirl and see what happens. Got a lot of rain around today. It was absolutely pouring at my house, but uh, but I'm about an hour south of where I live. And hey, I'm gonna give it a on the lake. Give it a shot. Fish on. little guy but it is the first of the day um, I'm not altogether sure if he's a blue or a channel he's got a very uh, he's got a mouth like a flathead but skunks out the boat And he was nice enough to leave my bait. Fish on. I think. Yep, yeah, there he is, swimming right at me. Uh, feels like a decent fish. I've got a live white perch suspended off the front in addition to three pieces of cut bait out. And I've had something messing with this live one for ages. This feels like a decent, like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, nice blue. It's not a fishing trip unless you forget something. And I forgot my pliers today. So I may have a few fun. Uh, unhookings. Get on it. I guess I'll put you on the grip. Not like that, I won't. This is how not to land a fish. You only get this on the Hike Wade Paddle YouTube channel. That's a nice one. Mm, probably mm, 12 pounds or so. Listen to him talk. Saying, put me back. Asking ye shall receive, buddy. Been out here for about a oh half an hour now. Oh, I had a spider on my rod. Cute little guy. Come here. I'll let him hang out in the boat with me here. I've been out here for about half an hour. Um, marking tons of fish. I'm in a pretty shallow creek. And there's just an absolute ton of bait in here. So I figure there's got to be some fish. And, um, just had those two bites. Uh, in pretty quick succession. So... See if I can get some more. Y'all don't watch these videos to hear me talk. So, I'm so one little experiment I'm running right now is uh, a lot of y'all know I use these drifting weights um, on the rods I run off the back of the kayak. 
This is a new drifting weight out of the same company that I've always used them from. The only difference is they have a little uh, scent chamber down on the bottom of them. It's stuffed with some kind of, it honestly looks like just the outside of a uh, paracord, but uh, it's absorbent. And the same company has a scent. So I just dip the weight down in here. It's a spray application, but it's easier to dip them. And uh, I'm giving it a whirl. Uh, I'm a little skeptical about it, to be honest. But everything I've used from that company has been absolutely awesome. So I figured I owed it to them to try them. Um, so I've got one rod with the scent out and then one with just the original dripping weights from them. And, uh, of my two fish today, one has come on the suspended rod and the other hit the uh, hit the drifting stick with the with the scent. So I'm gonna try that out for a couple months and um, I'll try to keep count of what the fish like. Fish on! Oh. <laughs> oh! Couldn't tell how big he was, but he hit a live white perch of fairly a uh, good size. Oh. Shoot! Fish on, guys. Another one on that uh, scented drifting stick. I don't know if that's the deciding factor or not, but I've had a couple bites on the uh, the other one, but both of my hookups have been on the on the scented drifting stick. just had another uh, decent hit on another live perch so I may oh wow look how I've hooked this poor little guy right in the top of the top of the back <laughs> I don't know if these are bullheads I'm catching or what. They have giant mouths, but they're not brown like a like I thought a bullhead is. So. Boy, they got strong jaws. That hurt. Let them go and uh, get back out there. Here's another. And I think he might be even smaller than that last one. If he's still on here at all. Yeah, he is. Oh, my goodness. Come here, feller. Oh, man. Now, how's that for a channel cat? <laughs> I hope that 12-pounder wasn't my biggest of the day. Oh, well. I'm thankful for every one of them. So my little spider buddy is back once more. He is, uh, I don't know if you can see him, but he's actually on the rod of this handle. Or rod of this handle. The handle of this rod. And if I fight a fish with him on there, he is going to get squished. Come on, fella. Well, he jumped out my hand again. He does not want to get a good, uh, 
he does not want his glamour shot. There we go. Cute little fella. Just a little guy. I'm gonna let him keep riding along with me. this one. Had a few bites here and there, but needless to say I have not come close to hooking up to anything. I got rained on pretty hard and now I'm quite cold and wet and not getting any bites and now I got a double on. as awkward a footage as you're gonna ever see on YouTube I'm sure oh man now I got this fish is wrapped up in this line good for me. I still got a fish on this other rod too. There's that one, probably 15 pounds or so, nice fish. Now let's get this other one. You go an hour and a half without a bite. good bite I should say and then you get two fish on at the same time go figure this is a nice one this one feels like it may be a little bit bigger than that other one I just landed about the same size maybe a touch bigger Was eventful. There's a baity hit. Decent size white perch head. I 
mentioned earlier that I uh, left my pliers at home today. This fish isn't even hooked that awkwardly. I'm going to have a hell of a time getting the hook out. Because it's right in the thick, thick part of his mouth. Now he's chomping on me. There we go. Another nice one. Let's get him back. All right, let go. Got a good one on. I'm filming this. I've already filmed my uh, closing for today's video. So some of this video might not make much sense later. But I decided the fish were still biting. So I wasn't calling it quits just yet. I'm uh I'm in less than 20 feet of water. So this fish hit and has plenty, plenty of fight in him. Good lord. It's a nice one. Uh, Justin Johnson, if you happen to watch this one, I am going to weigh it. And I do not care what you think about what that uh, says about the size of my penis. This is a uh, 30 pounder or so, probably. Come on in y'all. Looky there. Hey. Whew. I'm gonna get a weight on them and uh let him go. And I'll get back to fishing. He was barely hooked. Barely hooked. Sorry if y'all get a crotch shot here. Not quite 30 pounds, he was right at 28 with the grip in his mouth, so 27 pounder. Best part of any catch, the release.
Here she goes. Let's get another one. So the second I put him back in the water, one of my planer boards took off. And this fish is swimming right straight at the kayak faster than I can keep up to him. There he is. Is but a wee lad. A wee lad that doesn't want to quit. to me yeah 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 see ya oh I don't know if y'all could see how fast that fish just spun my kayak around but it took off and I think that one was probably bigger than my 27 pounder didn't stay hooked up though after the day I've had today I can't complain you win some you lose some all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and film a closing because there's a hit. This is going to be my closing though. This is fish number number nine on the day and gonna be the last I get on video. I've had a hell of a day out here today. Um, Nine fish and counting uh, on a lake that I'm not familiar with at all. This is a decent fish. Well, maybe not. A lake I'm not all too familiar with. where I planned on coming today. This was a spur of the moment trip. Oh, calm down before you put a hook in me. This was a spur of the moment trip. I knew I wanted to come today, but I didn't know where. And I'm glad I picked here. Needless to say, I will be back out here a lot more. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Give that thumbs up button some love and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you. I'm going to squeeze this into the closing because the second I said thanks for watching and turned the camera off, I got another hit. And I'm going to end it on this tenth and final. This is going to be one hell of a weird video, but I don't care. This is the third closing I've filmed. Because it seems like every time I try to film one, I get a fish. I just had some asshole go flying by me very close, too. That's why the boat's rocking so much. People have absolutely no regard for other people on the water, especially when you're in a kayak. 
Now this is a 20 pounder. Why aren't, why aren't I excited? Maybe not quite 20. creeping over to watch me. Come here, fella. Number 10, and my final fish. Now I'm headed home. Thanks for watching.